everyone. Today we're going to have the first tasting of my base porter with crystal 60 malt and D husk Carafa 2 malt. Now this is this series is all about porters so I wanted to start with a base and just keep on building up. Layer them different ways maybe try some different malts just to see what I can come up with. So uh, dehusk malt, what they're doing is taking off the husk, obviously, but that's going to leave that astringency, um, that bitterness out, hopefully. Uh, I'm not saying you should go making this until we taste it, uh, but uh, I wanted to try each one with just a base, I guess, recipe, um, and see what I got before I start layering them. Um, so this one, it is a small batch, 1.25 gallons going into the carboy. Two pounds, four ounces of pale malt, 4.8 ounces of crystal 60, 1.6 ounces of the Carafa 2D husk. Now in the other one, so the pale chocolate, the chocolate, the chocolate wheat, the chocolate rye, all those, I was going with 7.5% of the grain bill for each one, but because this was so dark, I wanted to change that up. That's why uh, the ounces are a little different. Now I might have to go back and even them out. I just did the 40 l version and I think I think that Crystal 40 took over a little too much. Um, so maybe in this, because this is using 60, it's gonna take over even more, and we're gonna have more of a brown ale than we are a porter. But uh, this came in at 4.71%. Now that is lower, so we might get more sweetness. Uh, if I look back, the uh, 40L version was 4.92%. So it's it's in the realm. I thought that, I thought I said five point something. It's over there. Uh, so this was bottled on 118. Today is 218. So we are a month old. I usually let my beer sit uh, 30 days before I try them. Now in that uh, 40L version, uh, we're a little bit younger uh, because I want to do this one. Uh, seven uh, small pearl carbonation tablets were used. Good hiss. These are 22 ounce bottles. So let's go ahead and get it into a glass. Yeah, see, I from both of these, and I'm going to do a big side-by-side. -side. I'll probably do a side-by-side -side on this and the 40L version, too. Um, they're light. Uh, so I was scared going into it that that Carafa 2 was going to be too dark. So that's why I cut it in half. And I think I would have been okay with uh, sticking with the standard ratios that I was using. Um... Light tannish colored head, small and medium bubbles, about a quarter finger, both uh, small and medium bubbles on the side. Color, I, a darker brown uh, color. Uh, it almost looks like a dark pop, like a Coke or a Pepsi at the very bottom um, in here. But this is definitely darker than the 40 version. Go ahead and smell. Roasted malt sweetness a little bit more uh, than the 40 version. I'll try not to talk about the 40 version because I'm going to do a side by side. Uh, a little bit more sweetness, but I could see that using the Crystal 40 uh, in there. This smells like it has more roasted malt. Maybe a little sweeter chocolate, a little sweeter caramel in there. I'd say caramel. I'm getting, I'm getting a touch of chocolate, which is weird. I don't know why that would be. I don't know if it's the sweetness or if it's just that Crystal 60 using a little bit more that it's that the Carafa 2 and that are bringing out a touch of chocolate. But I do get caramel, which I think should be there from the 60. But not a big smell. Let's go ahead and taste.
roasted malt, a little bit more grainy biscuit in there, but definitely like a, a toffee, like a caramel toffee that is a touch burnt, like that, that Crafa 2 being so dark is coming through as like it's, it, it's almost burnt toffee caramel in there. It seems like it's a little drier too. I almost want to say like almost acidic malt burnt in the very back. So weird how you can just jump 20 crystal levels and have a totally different beer. Nice and smooth. I like I like the body on this. I think it works. But again, I I think most people would think this is a brown. Cause you're not really getting that chocolate, you're not getting that coffee, the dominating Factor is not that roasted malt like you would see in a porter. It might need a little bit more bitterness from that malt. Like, like that dehus took that bitterness out of there so it's coming through more as a brown ale. Huh. So I wonder... I wonder if you could bring that, if you did this same recipe, but upped the hops, if you could bring that bitterness back in, you know, what would that do to this beer if it was hot bitterness versus roasted malt bitterness? Because I almost want to say, yeah, without that bitterness in there, it drinks more like a brown ale, especially with that caramel toffee. I think the only thing that doesn't fit in is kind of that burnt roasted malt for a second in the after or right before the aftertaste. It's definitely carved. Hmm. Eh, I would I think it needs more carbonation. I think it's a little flat. But yeah, definitely good. I'm going to do a side-by-side -side between this and the 40L version, so don't forget to check that out. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up and check some more videos out over here. And until next time, happy brewing.